Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and in today's video, we're gonna be discussing your in-cab inspection, and specifically, which are the four most important gauges on your dashboard that you're gonna to have to talk about for your in-cab inspection. So when it comes to the in-cab inspection, that is the first portion of the road test, which is all about inspecting both the inside and outside of the vehicle. In this section in particular, we're inspecting all the components on the inside, at least all the important components. And when it comes to your dashboard, there's multiple gauges on your dashboard, especially depending on the type of truck that you have. But every single truck has a minimum of these four gauges that I'm about to tell you, and I'm going to show you exactly how to read them. So the first gauge that we talk about, and there are no specific order when it comes to the test itself, but one of the gauges you're going to have to talk about is your water temperature gauge. So this is actually going to tell you how hot your temperature of your engine is actually running. The maximum that you ever want to see is about 200. If you're ever getting higher than 200 degrees, that means either your water pump is bad or your fan is not kicking on, which means that it's not cooling off the engine. And if you run for long enough at a hot enough temperature, that's right, that explosion behind me is what's gonna happen in front of you when you're driving this truck. So second thing that you're gonna have to work on is your oil pressure gauge. So your oil pressure gauge is making sure that the oil is flowing through the engine components properly. Here, you want to see some oil pressure gauge. When you press on the gas itself, you should see the oil pressure gauge increase. There's no specific number that you need, but anywhere from that 40 to 80 range, 40 to 90 range is okay. If you're driving the truck and all of a sudden your oil pressure gauge is dropping big time, that could be a problem. That means that you could have a major oil leak because there's not enough oil running through the system itself. So when it comes to your water temperature gauge, you don't want to go in too high. When it comes to your oil pressure gauge, you don't want to go in too low. The next gauge that you must talk about for your in-cab inspection is going to be your voltage gauge. So here is your voltmeter. So this is going to actually show you the charge of the battery itself and what the battery volts are at. So in a truck, you're going to have a 12 volt battery, which means if the gauge is showing is pointing to the number 12, that means there's no charging happening from your alternator. So for the test itself, you're going to say, okay, this is my this is my voltmeter gauge. It's in proper level and it's charging. It usually should be in between the 12 and 14 range. So anywhere from that 13 to 14, that means that it's going higher than 12 volts, which means it's actively charging the battery and everything's okay to go. So again, if you ever turn on the truck and your volt meter is below 12, it's gonna be a very, very hard time to start that vehicle because you're gonna need at least 12 volts to get everything started and to run all your electrical that you need. And that is what that volt meter gauge is showing you. And the last gauge that you're gonna to have to talk about for your dashboard is gonna be your air pressure gauge. So during the in-cab inspection, if you follow our system and if you want to find out more, click on the link below and you'll be able to see a full video description of exactly what the in-cab inspection is gonna look like. But this air brake system is extremely important because it runs on air. And the cool thing about air is so far it is free. That being said, when you turn on the truck and the engine starts going, your air compressor starts kicking in and your air pressure gauge should be raising up, which means when you have air, you can move this, you can move this vehicle. For whatever reason, if something is not working and the air pressure gauge is not rising up, either the gauge is faulty or something inside the engine is faulty. Maybe it's a bad air compressor, maybe you have a major leak that's happening. And if that's the case, you will not be able to move the vehicle because your brakes will be locked. So I hope that helped. Those are the four main gauges that you're gonna have to talk about for your in-cab inspection. You do have other gauges like your speedometer, your tachometer, and depending on the truck, depending on the dashboard that you have, you might have some extra gauges as well. But those are the only four required gauges that you're gonna have to talk about for the in-cab inspection during your, pre during your road test itself to get your CDL license. And I gave you the importance of those gauges itself. So if you want help on how to pass a CDL road test, one of the cool things is if you come to our school, we're not only the best training school in the entire country, but we actually have our own third party testing site, which means we're going to be the ones training you and we're going to be the ones testing you as well. So we kind of know what the test is all about. We're not like those other schools where you train at the school, then you have to go to a DMV and maybe that guy at the DMV is having a good day or a bad day. And you don't really know what kind of, uh, what that DMV gentleman is looking for. Pretty much schools are just rolling the dice and shooting in the dark. We have the luxury of being able to test you and to train you. So as long as you follow our training method, we're going to be the ones giving you the test anyway. And of course, if you follow it, you're going to pass. No questions asked. 
We're probably the only school around that can actually guarantee that you get a license and how that works is we're going to give you over 100 hours of training plus unlimited tries at the road test which means you're going to keep going for the test until you pass at no extra cost to you. Most cases if you take 120 hours of training you're going to be 100% prepared to pass this test but in many cases people get nervous and they make silly mistakes. With that being said if you want more information give us a call 908-525-3609 or take a virtual school tour at cdldriveacademycom forward slash tour. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day.